Uh, today I want to talk about split field offense. One of the guys I've really grown to admire from afar is Cody Alexander, who wrote one of the books that I've read, and I think it's pretty awesome, and it talks defensively about split field coverages. The idea being we split the field in half, and we're not marrying our defense to run one specific coverage. We're going to match the best coverage to which side of the field it applies to. And so all it takes for him is to give two words instead of one word, and now he's in split field coverage. So instead of saying I'm in cover of Z96 or whatever it is, he has two tag words and his kids understand. It's simple and easy to them, and it gets him in a great position. In our offense, the Gun TRPO offense, we're trying to do similar concepts offensively. So we're trying to bring to light two split fields and call plays off of that by using either one or two or three words at most. We want it to be simple for our kids and we want to make sure that we're giving our quarterback the best options. And what I have found is this. To us, it's simple. You know, we call a run play or it could be a pass play here, okay? We call a, a run play to the strong side and a pass play to the quick side or we can call a run play to the quick side and a pass play to the strong side, or we can call a pass play to both sides and it's split field, okay? It allows our quarterback to pick which side of the field is the best option for him, depending on a couple of key things we give him, and then he runs the play. For us, it's simple. Our kids understand our terminology, our strong side is gonna run X and our quick side is going to run Y and our quarterback makes a choice. And so the most obvious way we do that is through our RPO game. So if we run buck sweep to the strong side, we can tag a screen, we can tag an RPO, we can tag an RRO, which is a run run option, by using keywords over here and blending things together. And what it does is it forces a defense to play us with split field, like we're playing them with split field, which is not super complicated if I lined up like this every time. However, when I start moving my guys around and shifting them, it makes it very complicated for the defense and it builds in great answers for my quarterback and answers for Coach Simpson because we're running split field concepts or running them on offense. Spread teams have been doing this now for a long time, okay? What you're not seeing is a lot of power teams doing this or teams with wing T base doing this. And I think that gives us a huge advantage is that we're taking the best of both worlds, the split field concepts from the spread and the RPO world. And now we're blending those up with the wing T series and building your offense off of if this happens, then we do this. But now we're doing this in a split field way that really puts a strain on the defense. You don't have to run our exact offense, but I think this concept would apply very, very well to whatever offense you're trying to run is to look at it instead of look at one concept, look at split field, split field, a play over here, and a play over here with as little wording as possible so that you can always get your offense and your quarterback into the best situation possible, okay? So whatever you're choosing to do, guys, I would highly recommend you look into this. I think this is the trend we're going towards. I think football is moving in this direction faster than I think it's ever moved in this direction. Uh, thanks to the RPO world, thanks to the Patrick Mahomes of the world, thanks to the Russell Wilsons of the world, thanks to these guys that are so creative and able to do so many things, I think you're starting to see our game move this way. So I would really challenge you to start doing some research on split field. What does that mean and how can you implement that in your offense? If you'd like more specific answers to how we implement that in our offense, again, I've got my Gun T RPO series up on CoachTube. You can uh, go to my website. Got a lot of PowerPoints on there that go through different plays we run and different ways we look at it. And then you can email me or, or reach out to me and I'll try to help you as much as I can.
I hope you enjoyed this video clinic. Please subscribe to InstaClinic so that you stay connected to this one-of-a-kind football resource.